All right, guys, I'm starting out with my Ninja Multi cooker. I've set on stovetop high and it's heating up. And now, if you don't have a uh, a multi cooker, don't worry, you can do this in a pot with a or a pan with a secure fitting lid. Not just heat up, I'm gonna put in some olive oil, probably about two or three tablespoons. And I have one medium onion I diced up, a half a cup of celery I diced up, and a little under a cup of baby carrots I diced up. I'm gonna get them in here and I'm gonna saute them for about five minutes until they start to soften up some. And after my vegetables start to soften up in the five minutes, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, now that my five minutes are up and my vegetables are starting to soften up, I'm going to add in three cups of chicken broth. Now guys, this recipe came in the uh, Ninja Auto IQ Multi-Cooker book, but I'm altering it to the water and putting in three cups of chicken broth because I have it and it will give it more flavor. And I'm going to try to convert the directions over so you can use a regular pot on a stove for this or the older Ninja without the Auto IQ. Now that my chicken broth in there, I'm going to put in a ten and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to put in a pack of onion soup mix. This is that dried stuff you get. This stuff is great on a pot roast. Okay, I'm going to stir that in. And I have a cup of raw rice. Make sure you get the uncooked rice. You don't want the uh, parboiled or the instant rice. I'm going to add that in. Now in the instruction, it says to use some rotisserie chicken. Well, I don't have any, but I do have some raw chicken breast here. Let me cut this open. I'm going to put in two raw chicken breasts. And at the end of the cooking, I'll pull these out and I'll shred them up. Okay, now that I have my hands washed, everything's in there, I put my lid on. Now in the Ninja Foodie with the Auto IQ, you turn your power on, this is a layered bowl recipe. So you go over to the layered bowl, you hit that, and you turn the dial to number 23, that's 23 minutes. Now if you're doing this in a regular Ninja, I would set it on the oven setting and set it for uh, the bake, dry bake or oven setting for like 23 minutes, keep it on and make sure it isn't going too fast, too hot. It probably has a temperature setting. I'd set it at about 350, 300. If you do this on a stove, just turn it down to a low simmer, put your lid on it, and give it 23 minutes, stirring it occasionally. Now when my 23 minutes are up, I'll make sure my chicken's done and the rice is tender. If not, I'll give it a little more time. All right guys, I checked this after the time was up. My chicken still wasn't cooked through and the rice and the vegetables were still a little uh, hard for my liking. So I gave it 10 more minutes on the bake setting at 350. Everything's cooked through, the chicken's cooked through, I shred it up and I throw it back in there. Dexter! I'm making a video here, do you... Dexter. Do you mind? I'm making a video. So this is ready to go, guys. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Guys, I wonder then I garnish this with a little bit of parsley for some... Dexter! Stop! Guys, I wonder then I garnish this with a little bit of parsley for some color. Let me get in here and give this a try. I'll try some chicken first really good it's creamy picked up all the flavors trust me rice and the vegetables all right there you have it creamy chicken and rice in the ninja multi cooker give it a try thanks for watching and until next time I'll see ya